This is the second part of creating a inventory system in Unity. Last time we have made this basic inventory grid with the hotbar so that we can drag the items and switch them. For the items we are using scripted objects so that we can easily add as many items as you want. And today we will be adding the functionality that we can pick up the items, drop them and also adding the hotbar. One major thing that is still missing is the opening and closing of the inventory, so we'll jump to the inventory manager script. Add a reference for the inventory parent and also boolean so that we know if the inventory is on or off. In update, we can just set active the inventory parent based on the boolean and then we can just check for the input. So when we press the key tab and the inventory is opened, we set is inventory open to false and the other way around. And don't forget to assign the inventory parent. You can see that we are able to close and open the inventory, but there is a problem with these items because they shouldn't be visible when the inventory is closed. And this is just because they are set on the wrong items parent, they are set on the hotbar, so they are not getting turned off when we turn off the inventory, so we can just drag them under the items of the inventory. And one more thing with the opening of the inventory, when we open it, we want to make sure that we are able to see the mouse, but when we close it, we don't want to be able to see it. So we can just set the cursor lock state. So now I'm not able to see the mouse, but when I press tab, I'm able to see it, so that I can interact with the items in inventory. If you want to be able to see the items in the inventory, make sure that they are under the last parent, but we will be still making some changes to this later so that the items are always visible. Now let's make the pickable items, so first I will make prefabs for all of the items. Add colliders and rigid body components to all of the items so that they can just fall to the ground. But before we make prefabs out of these weapons, we also want to add a script item pickable so we can identify if the object that the player is looking at is pickable or not. So the items should have these components and now we can make prefabs from them. I will also create a player script. You probably already have one, so you don't need to be creating it. Add this to the player and here we will be just checking for the raycast. I will add two variables. One will be for the camera, which we need for the raycast. And second one will be for the inventory manager class because we will be triggering a void on the inventory manager. Now in the update, when we press some key, for example the E key, we will create new ray and raycast hit. So we created the ray using the camera screen point to ray and inputting the mouse position so that the ray is in the middle of the screen and then the hit info which will be just storing some info about the hit. Now let's create the raycast. So we are creating a raycast using the ray and we are setting the hit info and the distance can be something about 3. Then we'll just check for the item pickable component and if it is here we'll trigger some void on the inventory manager which we'll create. So we are getting the script item pickable from the hit info and then if the item is not equal to now, we will trigger some void on the inventory manager which we will create now. We will make the void public because we want to be able to trigger it in the player. We will call it item picked and to the parameters we will add game object item which will be just for the item that we have picked up. So now we can trigger it in the player script. and pass in the parameter 
just like that. In the item pickable script, we can delete the voids and I will just create a reference for the item scriptable object so that we know which item we have picked up. When we pick up the item, we first need to know if there is some empty slot in the inventory, so I will create array for all of the slots. Set the size of the array to count of your slots in your inventory. In the void item pick, I will just create a reference for the empty slot if there is any. Then I will create a for loop which will go through all of the inventory slots and ask if they are holding some item. So we are going through all of these slots, then we are getting the inventory slot component and checking if the health item is equal to now. If this is true, we set the empty slot to the current slot and break the loop so that it is not running again. And then, if the empty slot is not equal to now, we can just instantiate the item and set all its properties. Create a variable for the item prefab. We instantiate the new item and save it into a variable. Then we get the inventory item script from the item and set the scriptable object to the scriptable object from the item picked. Then we set the parent of the new item to make sure that when we spawn it under the hotbar, it is in the correct item's parent. And when we spawn it in the inventory, it is also in the correct item's parent. Then we just set the health item on the empty slot to the new item, which will also set the position and we destroy the picked item. Now don't forget to set all of the variables in the inventory manager and also assign the scriptable objects for the item pickable. One quick tip, if you want to set all of the slots in the inventory manager, you can just load the inspector up here and then you can select all of the slots, drag them to the slots and delete all of these empty elements that we don't need and we have all of these slots. In the item picked void, I just forgot to use our custom void for setting the health item. So instead of setting it like this, we can use the custom void that we have made last time. Just like that. So now we can obviously move, we can try to pick the items up and when we look into the inventory you can see that they are correctly placed on the empty slots. I can still move them, switch them and everything is working well. Now we will add the functionality that we can drop the items but for this we will need to add a panel which will be in the whole screen so that the script can run the void on pointer up because this void only runs if we release the pointer on some UI element. So under the canvas, just create a UI panel, make sure that it is on the whole screen and make sure that you have the recast target on and we can just decrease the opacity. I will change the name to something like drop item. Now we can go back to the inventory manager where I will just fix one thing in the on pointer up void because as you might notice when we release the mouse button, when we have the item picked up somewhere on the background of the inventory, it doesn't return the item to its last slot. When none of these ifs are true and the clicked object.name is not equal to the drop item, which is the new panel that we have created, we just set the held item of the last item slot to the dragged object and make sure that you have the new panel that we have created over the inventory so that it is in the background and it is not blocking you from clicking to the items. In the inventory manager, I just forgot to set the direct object to null, but we are actually setting it to null in all of these cases, so we can just delete it from these ifs and put it down here. 
so that it is always setting the dragged object to null. When I take the item and I release the mouse somewhere here, it returns to its last slot. Now we can make throwing of the item, so this will be else. If none of this is true, we are throwing the item. To do that, we'll need to create a ray and get the point on the ray in some distance, so I will create a variable for the camera. Again, we are creating the ray using cam.screenPointRay on the mouse position, and from this we can get the vector free position, so we just get some point on the ray in distance, for example, 3. Then we can instantiate the item based on the scriptable object, which we have on the inventory item scriptable object. We instantiate the new item, the prefab we are taking from the dragged object, which is the item that we are dragging, and from it we get the item scriptable object that prefab, the position we have already done here, and just create a new quaternion. We are saving the object into a variable so that we can later get the item pickable component and set the scriptable object from the dragged object. Then we just set the health item of the last slot to null, we destroy the direct object and again set the direct object to null. Make sure to set the camera variable and also set the prefabs on the scriptable objects. We can pick the items up and when I drag them out of the inventory you can see that the items spawns at the position where I drag it just like that. I can drop as many of them as I want and I should be able to pick them up again. You could have seen that the bed fall, fell through the ground, but that's probably because we are missing some collider on it. Yep, you can see that all of that stuff is working. We can still move it in our inventory, we can drop it and pick it up again. And because this video is already long enough, We'll leave the hotbar and the stackable items for the next video, so stay tuned for that. I hope that this video was useful, if you have any other questions, drop them down to the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye!